Welcome to another PTP fishing and a bits you haven't seen yet video. So this is number nine. Um, <clears throat> as you would know from a lot of the uh, videos in recent times, I've been doing a lot of freshwater fishing, Lake Kawongbara and Nogger in particular. And that's because the saltwater fishing up here at the moment, the water temperature is very, very high. The fish are a bit hard to find. Um, it's not that I haven't tried, I um, have been out a few times and have had very little success, certainly not enough to put a video together. So the opportunity for me is to put a video like this one together. I'm starting at the Logan River, as usual, I'm with Aaron, trying to find some of these saltwater fish for you, and then we'll go from there. Welcome to another PTP Fishing. So check this fella here out. So I'm with Aaron at the Logan River, and it's been a little bit slow. We've got a big run in tide, so uh, Aaron's just picked this fish up. We're going to let it go. Kick and a little wave goodbye to us. I'm very happy, Aaron, with his face mask on. <laughs> Alright, first fish of the day, time to put a camera on my head. Hopefully we get a few more. Oh the one that just followed mine then was I reckon close to 40. Yeah, okay. He had mates with him. <laughs> Coming up with him. It's like oh, drop your lure there, there's two of them. <laughs> oh, it's just nice to have some activity. But you, you think flats like this on the big tides, yeah. that's when they come into their own. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that's a flathead for sure. Oh no, it's a brim. Look at that. Big brim. <laughs> awesome. That's the one. Oh, I don't think it's the one that I saw before, but. Nice. Come on. I most probably will actually, but oh, come here. I should be able to do it myself, I think. So I'm going to claim Aaron and I fished all over the place for a couple of hours. I made a suggestion. Let's go down to our one of our flats. Big high tide. Never know our luck. Maybe the fish are sitting up on the flats. And that's two fish in pretty quick time. So good day folks, welcome to another PTP fishing and as you just saw Aaron caught himself a beautiful 58 centimetre flathead. He and I are at the Logan River. I have to say how good is it to be back on this in the salt water. So it's been a little while, certainly since I've been back from South Australia I haven't uh, I've been out chasing the bass as you've seen and there's a little brim that I've just caught. Not a monster but um, it's nice to get the uh, what do they call it? The whatever off the back. But anyway, I've caught a fish. We're having fun. The jokes are starting to come across as well. So uh, we're taking the piss out of each other. Welcome to another PTP fishing from the Logan River. Let's see if we can get a few more. So just on 30 centimetre brim, nice way to start. See you later. All right, feels nice to be on the board. Broken the duck, whatever you want to call it. Caught a fish. Had a bite. I want one of those big flathead. Yeah. Yep, no worries. Yeah. Yeah, you probably have to check in. <sighs> Cool. Alright, no worries. Okay, see ya. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's alright. I got a fish. Alright, back filming. Sorry I was a little bit quiet for that last fish, but uh, Aaron was on the phone and I didn't want to get too excited. But yes, the uh, from that little burst of fish that we had earlier things got very very quiet so that's 
first proper bite I've had for a little bit. A low 50s flathead, which um, is coming home for dinner. Something. Don't know what I've got, but I've got something. A brim, by the look of it. Just pass it to me and I'll... Thank you. So this is our last ditch effort spot. We've worked very hard for very few bites. Believe you me, that fish is very, very, very welcome. So, good day, folks. Welcome to another PTP fishing, and I am at Anogra Reservoir once again. Pretty hard to go past here at the moment, as you would have seen from the last few videos. The fishing is well and truly on the improve. Uh, the other thing you'll notice from the last couple of videos is a lot of the better fishing has been further up the lake, so. I'm going to paddle all the way to the top of the lake. While I'm doing that, I've had a lot of people ask me about the V blades and how I rig them, so I've done a little video or a little insert to this video to show you how I do that and why I do that. So I'll go to that now and I'll catch you when, I, when I'm at the top of the lake. Welcome to another PTP fishing. So it's a bit of a dreary, drizzly day and the perfect day to be doing a little bit of tackle preparation and the best part about that is my new order of Rapala v has just turned up from Hooked Online got these guys here so I've got a few of those to play with and the other lure that I've been playing with is, is these live target Sonic Shads so um, a lot of people ask me about how I rig the inline singles why I rig the inline singles and what I use. So I'm going to take you through that now. So a lot of people ask why I went from the hook setup that is on the lures and why I changed them. And initially it was just purely when you're in a kayak in particular, um, getting a treble hook and those sort of things out of the net is just a pain in the backside. And also you've got, you know, obviously the fish is right there with you when you're in a kayak. So um, it was also a bit of protection for me as well because obviously uh, you get those hooks in you when you're in the kayak not very nice at all the bonus that's come out of it is a lot of these lures and certainly the v-blaze do is is they have that double hook set up at the front and as much as that's effective i don't like it so um what the bonus of uh, putting these inline singles on these lures has been and the sonic shads the same is that has a double set of double hooks um, the win has been is that that inline single has proven to be particularly with our native species an absolute bonus um, and it catches plenty of fish and it protects me so the bits and pieces that i use so I use a size 2 stainless steel split ring. I don't think the brand matters too much. I've got the Sure Catch ones, they do a great job, but the two heavy, it's got about 8 kilos test, so that's all you really need. It's small enough that it doesn't affect the way the lure swims, and big enough that you can easily get these inline singles into place. And one of the reasons they use those double hooks is. Uh, yeah, they don't like putting a split ring onto those where the hook attaches to the lure so and then there's the two types of inline singles that i use so i've got the vmc's which is the mangrove inline and then you've got the the mustard kju or kaju or whatever you want to call it slightly different styles of hooks um, the vmc is a sickle style hook 
And I guess while I'm here, I'll explain. So when we talk about an inline single, so hopefully the camera picks that up. But the actual eyelet of the hook is in line with the point of the hook. So that's why they're called an inline single. So the VMC is a sickle style hook. And as you can see, it's quite a thick hook. But the beauty of the VMCs is they have a coating on the hook point or on, on the entire lure or entire lure, the entire hook that basically means that it slips into the fish much easier. And that sickle style hook, a little bit like a circle hook, um, tends to go into the corner of the jaw. So really, really sharp, really cool style of hook. And of course it, it tends to get home and stay home, which is what you want. The other option, which is the mustard hook, which I should have got one out of the packet already. Now it's more of a circle style hook. So as you can see, much wider gape, um, more circular in, in style, still that in line. So again, the eyelet of the hook is in line with the point of the hook, but works a lot more like a circle hook. So once that goes in, I think the fish, particularly our native fish, tend to attack and then head back to cover. This style of hook works really, really, really well. So, and the same as the VMC, or the VMC is the same as this, is it tends to go into the corner of the jaw, find a home there, and tends to stay, so you lose less fish as well. So there they are. So that's the three things you need. Obviously, a good pair of split ring pliers helps as well. So I won't bore you too much with it, but basically now it's a matter of taking that treble hook off the back of the, the lure, that double hook off the front, putting a split ring on there, and then we put the inline singles in place. So once I've removed those, I'll come back to you. Okay, so my lure's ready to go. So I've taken both sets of hooks off, I've put a split ring on the front, and on the, on the V blade, I'm going to use a couple of the VMC hooks. And the idea is I want to run them so they're in a weedless setup. So ultimately I want, if that's the front of the, the lure here, I want the hook to sit that way, so with the hook point facing up, and that way when I do throw next to those lily pads and all of those things, um, it fishes as weedless as I possibly can make it. Um, the other thing that I'm using is I'm using a size 4 hook on the front hook, and a slightly smaller size hix, 6 size hix, size 6 hook on the back. Um, the front hook, as I say in a lot of my videos, is the most important hook. That's the one where you tend to get most fish on. So I want it to be a little bit bigger, to have a slightly wider gape, giving me more chance of hooking those fish. So there you go. That's the end result. So that's a five centimeter V blade set up with the, the VMC mangrove inline singles. As you can see, rigged as weedless as I can make it. Uh, if you were going to use the, the mustard inline singles, That's the setup there. So same thing, hook points facing towards the top. Makes it as weedless as possible. Protects you when you're on the water if a fish kicks in the kayak. Less hassle when you've got the fish in the net. And the bonus that I've found with it all is I think the hookup rate's much better as well. So I hope that was helpful. I've eventually found my way up to the top of the lake where I want to uh, start fishing. I've got a stunning morning and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, the fish are enjoying it as well and they cooperate and I can put a video together for you. So let's get both of these cameras going and see how I go.
the fish, but it's a fish. Oh, and he came off. You've got to be joking me. There's a second bite. Oh, again, not a very big fish, I don't think. Oh, he's... Oh. Stay out of there. <laughs> Maybe he's a bit bigger than I think. Oh. There we go. It's taken about... That's probably 10 minutes up here at the top of the lake. So there you go, there's first fish in the morning. There's one of those lures I was playing with in that video earlier. He'd be, I'd say, 27, 28 centimetres. Made up for the one that I missed maybe two, three casts before. Anyway, I'm on the board. So my ormeter was well out. So that's well and truly illegal fish, 32 centimetres. Been out of the water for a little while. Oh, see you later. Obviously a couple of bites in quick succession. Hopefully I can find a few more now. And there you go, that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've certainly enjoyed the opportunity to at least show you how I rig these V-blades and why I do that. If you're enjoying these videos or you'd like to see something in particular, Leave me a comment in the comment section. Give it a bit of a thumbs up for me. Apparently that helps. Everybody keeps telling me the algorithms and everything else that gets things going. So please do that for me. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do that as well. And I'll catch you next time from PTP Fishing. See you on the water.